Hi, Gemini. Welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Wow. Okay. We have temperance in the four of wands. So, hmm. So I definitely see you. You could potentially be reconciling with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I see you reaching some kind of milestone, Gemini. Okay, one that will make you happy. Let's see. Start. What are the messages for Gemini? We're going to pull some general messages, Gemini, and then we will take a look at the person we're thinking about. Let's see. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Things turning in a positive direction for you, Gemini. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, which is Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Wow. So the tower, this is like big change happening. Big change happening, Gemini, especially in your career. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you have, you're stepping up here. Six of Pentacles. There's a big step up. I wanted to say massive because the Tower of the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune coming out before the Tower. This is turning in a positive direction for you. So I do see a payoff here with the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, a payoff, a payout, okay? You're uh, definitely, your money increasing, okay? There's some type of increase here. Look at that. Ace of Cups. The Judgment card. So this is an awakening, the Tower, the Judgment, like leveling up, or this is like you seeing something in a whole new light, Okay. Because in the Judgment card, this is kind of like being, uh, it's like waking up from your coffin here. You could be hearing the um, call to do something new with the Tower of the Judgment card. Hearing the call. The full, yeah, to do something new, guys. And guess what? The Will of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, your passion, what you're passionate about, what you feel good about, that's going to lead you in the direction. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, now's the time to figure out what makes you emotionally fulfilled. What are you passionate about? What is exciting for you? Now, it is definitely a leap of faith here. It's going to require a leap of faith. But this can be about your legacy with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Cups. Very interesting. So the Knight of Cups is a dreamer. But the issue with the Knight of Cups, especially coming out underneath the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups can be easily persuaded. I don't want to say bought off. But it's like the Knight of Cups can be easily persuaded um, into not believing in themselves for whatever reason, whether this is uh, telling yourself that you're not ready or telling yourself that something here that, that you're not enough, possibly with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe you're saying I'm not enough of this, I'm not enough of that. I don't have this skill. I don't have that skill. Um, but I feel like whatever is going on here, whatever new direction you're wanting to go into i feel like it does require a leap of faith a little bit of risk here or something that you would feel it being risky and it's one of those things with the fool you know the fool's journey the fool learns as he goes he learns as he goes he doesn't have all the answers when he begins the journey he doesn't know everything he learns along the way very interesting for you gemini we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck so the Emperor, this could be about your career here, um, but I feel like that could be also an energy of the universe. Like I feel like the universe is telling me you may be very stubborn towards this new direction. Like I feel like the universe is sending you signs, synchronicities, downloads, 
to begin this new journey, but some of you guys may not feel ready or it's just your five of pentacles. Yeah, six of swords. And then, damn, we have the five of swords that came out before all that. So this is like self-sabotage, okay? Especially if you guys are talking down to yourself. Because I feel like there is this new version of you you want to step into, Gemini. But it's almost like with the Six of Swords being here, it's almost like you feel like you have to get out of the Five of Pentacles energy first. It's almost like you feel like you have to possibly work on your confidence or you feel like you're just not ready is what it's telling me. But you feeling not ready could be, uh, you know, actually you just abandoning something altogether or feeling insecure, or feeling like you can't do something, or telling yourself you can't. Five of Swords, this is also self-sabotage. And I would really hope that other people aren't getting in the way of your dreams and ambitions here. We have the Knight of Pentacles that wanted to come out, okay? And then we have the Two of Wands. So there's a new direction, a new path. The Nine of Pentacles, you may be trying to get ready for it, or you think you have to, you think that there's a slow buildup, um, and you have to be ready before you take the leap of faith, and trust your intuition on that. We have the world at the bottom of the deck, Two of Wands. I heard get on the map, on, be on, I don't, I'm not quite sure how that pertains to you. Could be some traveling in your future. This is also about getting out of your comfort zone, though, okay? Doing something new, being in a new environment, putting yourself in new situations, and just not sticking to your normal routine, I feel like is going to be emotionally <laughs> beneficial for you, but also creatively, okay? Let's pull you one of these. Oh, you have this spider. Oh. <laughs> You have the spider, Gemini. Creative projects. Very interesting. Okay, Gemini, let me read this to you. So the spider. The spider reminds you that you have within you the gift to create meaningful, purposeful work. Within you is an artist waiting to be expressed. Think about this. Do you write in a journal each day? Do you draw, paint, cook, or play music? Do you realize that everything you do on a daily basis is an act of co-creation with the divine? The spider signals that it's time to be aware of your responsibility for the creations in your life. Maybe you need to rethink an issue and apply your inner artist to find a solution. If you're unhappy with anything, ask yourself, how can I create a better, more productive and loving experience for myself and others? Whether you see yourself as an artist or not, you're always co-creating with the divine. You are the architect of your own happiness and fulfillment. What life are you building? Don't just sit there. This is your time to create. Beautiful. So, you know, of course, spiders could be coming into your life. I will tell you this. <laughs> I see spiders all the time. <laughs> all the time, unfortunately. I'm not, I'm not big on spiders. <laughs> but they can be indicating... Uh, they can be sent to you to tell you, you know, you are creative. And I feel like, you know, spiders, they are very creative. Okay. So we're going to take a look at the person you're thinking about, Gemini. If you would like to skip ahead, there is a timestamp in the description box to do so. Okay. All right, let's see the craziness that is Gemini. <laughs> okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you and this person you're thinking about. This could be anybody, by the way. So let's see. Spirit, who is Gemini thinking about? What is the situation? Let's see, what is the situation? Everyone is getting the moon, guys. Everybody. Aries got the moon. Taurus got the moon. And now you, Gemini. 
It did come out in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse. The you don't know what you want, okay? Let me just uh, point that out. Now, you do know what you want, that's great, but I'm here to give guidance to the ones who don't know what they want because clearly the Hierophant in reverse, Gemini, it does feel like you guys may be backing out of a commitment. And I feel like it's because you're uncertain how you're really feeling in a situation. But can I tell you, <clears throat> those of you that are feeling the need to back out of a commitment, Gemini, I do feel like your emotions uh, may be getting the best of you. It's almost like an energy of not seeing clearly, not feeling things clearly. I would say don't make any permanent decisions in the month. Um, however, it, you're dealing with someone that it looks like you're backing out of this commitment here. We have Pisces energy. We also have Taurus. Some of you guys, it's almost like you're starting, you feel as if you're starting to see who somebody truly is and maybe their values don't align with your values or, you know, with the Hierophant in reverse, it's almost like one of those things, especially if you are a spiritual person or if you're a light worker. It's very important to you, Gemini, for, you know, whoever you commit yourself to, for your values to align here. And that could actually be an issue. Um... But the Hierophant in reverse, is, it's also like maybe what you once believed about this person has changed. Okay. Let's see. Who is Gemini dealing with? Spirit, who is Gemini dealing with? Tower in reverse. Scorpio energy. So this person you're dealing with, Gosh, excuse me, Gemini. I had to clear my throat. Okay. So the tower in reverse can be about dodging a bullet or it can be about you thinking that you need to dodge a bullet. Uh, yeah, possibly not wanting to, uh, maybe you guys are starting to see a red flag in a situation and it's causing you to want to uh, emotionally withdraw from this person. Okay. But it looks like you want to avoid conflict as well. I just feel like you're not into it. You're not into something here. What is this? Oh, ton of cups in reverse. Not a happy home. Okay. Um, and I got to tell you, Gemini, this to me feels like you may not know what you want. And I feel like that's okay. I feel like your message here in this situation is if you don't know what you want, that's fine. Okay. Um... But it looks like you could be dealing with someone that you're disconnected from emotionally or there's just a disconnection here. The tower in reverse. It's like maybe you're refusing to let some someone go, but you don't really, the emotional connection is not really there. Okay, but you also don't want to, you know, completely end the situation altogether either. But damn, Gemini, look at this. You want to be by yourself in the month of September. Okay, I feel like you just want your own peace, your own stability, Gemini. This might not resonate with all of you, okay? Two of Wands for how you feel. You want to move in a new direction. You want a new adventure. And, you know, I feel like Gemini struggle with this, uh, especially if you're like, uh, you know, a pure manifesting generator. And now if you don't know what that is, look up human design. But I feel like you may have a tendency to back out of, like, situations that you were once excited about. Look at this, the High Priestess, but you're keeping this to yourself, Gemini. Okay, but I also feel like your intuition, maybe you're confusing your emotions and intuition at this time. And that's why, okay, Nine of Wands, the Sun. That's why, you know, this is a very confusing message, but I, I will say that's why you do not make any permanent decisions in the month of September. Now, I'm not telling you to stay somewhere. I'm not telling you to stay stuck because the great thing about the Mercury retrograde, it can bring about problems so you can, you know, figure out what it is that the situations you should end in your life, situations that have served their purpose. However, I would recommend you wait until it's over. We have Pisces energy. I do feel like you're keeping this a secret. Uh, you know, 
how does this person see you? Six of Cups. Well, this is someone that sees you as a soulmate. You know, they miss you or they miss when things were good or this is somebody that really wants to take it back to that good place. They're unsure how you feel about them. Uh, they are picking up. They're picking it up. They're picking, their intuition is picking up that you feel uncertain about them. Because with the High Priestess being here, Two of Pentacles, you guys do have some type of like telepathic connection here where it's like you two are picking up on each other's energy or you two could just be really good at reading situations and reading each other they see you as someone they have history with with the six of cups and i feel like this person is wanting definitely wanting to uh, make new memories with you but again they feel like they're not sure where you stand with them you might be giving this person the impression that you're distant or that you're focused on you the queen of pentacles They want to know what you want from them, okay? Or if you want anything from them. But they also, it's like somebody here can see that you've kind of like not been focused on them, okay? Some of you guys can be harsh with your communication, okay? Focused on work. Making this person feel, for some of you Geminis, you're making this person feel like they're not good enough. Now, that could just be their own insecurities and their own problems, right? Uh, so, let's see. Will of Fortune. Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Oof, the full in reverse. So, it's like I feel like you want to move in a new direction, but some of you guys deem that as a risk. And so, that's why I would say don't make any permanent decisions. We have the Hanged Man, uh, the Eight of Wands. But it's like you don't want to delay your life either, <laughs> Gemini. So, you know, you're really confused here. You're really unsure on whether or not sticking around in a situation or leaving it. And I feel like it's because you're feeling emotionally disconnected from something, but you're also potential, potentially wanting to see if something changes in this relationship. The hanged man can often hang around waiting for something to happen, but it looks to me like, you know, Okay, uh, most likely outcome, four of swords. I just kind of see you taking a step back here, Gemini, the world. And being distant from this person. Okay, the five of pentacles, kind of like wanting to abandon something. I feel like you've already abandoned it mentally. And this person can pick up on that. This person feels it. Two of cups, six of pentacles. I will say you have someone wrapped around your finger, Gemini. Hmm. This person could be giving you a gift in the month of September. And that also just confuses you further. Nine, nine of Swords. This They don't want to end the situation, especially, especially if there was an ending in the past already. Uh, they're trying to avoid an ending. They're trying to avoid a tower moment. They're trying to avoid a permanent disconnection between you two. Be why? Because this person has a lot of love for you, Gemini. But how they feel right now, they just feel like you're uncertain. They feel like you're not prioritizing them. They feel like you've been prioritizing yourself, which is fine. I'm just telling you how this person feels. And it looks to me like you're in a place of, you know, potentially wanting a new adventure here, keeping it to yourself. Wanting positive change in your life, but not ready to take the leap. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like just hung up on waiting for, you know, kind of waiting for something here to change. But it looks like the month of September, I don't really see much change from this person. I don't really see much change in the situation. And so here you are emotionally withdrawn, distant, taking a step back and isolating it. Uh, but I do see this person coming forward with some type of gift or gesture here. And I feel like that's just going to, it's going to cause you more anxiety. And they don't, they don't want the situation to end between you two, Gemini. Oh, 
Let's see. One more card. Strength card. Leo energy. So this is all about, especially, okay, we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is all about, you know, handling a situation with grace and, you know, courage. And I feel like, you know, the advice in the situation could be to bite your tongue for now. Uh, you know, because I feel like you don't really know how you feel. Um, energies might be confusing you right now. Yeah, two of swords. Okay, so this is like a difficulty. Um, and then we have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords. So Gemini, I do feel like this Knight of Wands is you. Um, I do feel like you're ready to spring into action. You're ready for something exciting. You're ready for a new adventure. Um, and it does look like whoever you're involved with, you two could be facing some sort of blockage here. And your advice is to kind of like bite your tongue, hold back, um, avoid having a meltdown. And just kind of let the energies play out in the month of September. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Um, if this did not resonate with you, check your other signs. Or check back next time. I hope it gave you some clarity. The signs we do have Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. There is some water energy here as well uh, in Earth. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.